Hi Stampers, it's the Pampered Stamper and today I just want to show you how to do a quick bridge fold card. So here is an example and the reason it's called a bridge fold is because this, this horizontal strip bridges the gap and what's really cool about it is that if you lay it like this and fold one side down, see how it goes flat? So then this card that is normally like this, now we'll do it the other way, can flatten like this and then it goes into a regular envelope. Well, you have to make sure you're putting it in straight. But yeah, fits perfectly, no problem. So that is what's really nice about the bridge fold card. So this is the one that fits into our regular envelope and it is four and a quarter by eight. And there's a graphic here and it's scored up. One and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters. Now don't worry about memorizing this or rewinding the video or whatever, going back. It's on my blog at thepamperedstamper.com. So after I did this card and another one with trees, I wanted to make one that would fit into a business envelope. Now all my business envelopes are gone. So I just reused just to show you a nice little bill envelope. And here is my card. Very simple. If you go online, you'll find much more complicated ones, but I wanted a simple card that I could do a coffee and a card or that you could do to make a bunch of Christmas cards. See, and it just folds flat again. And then it will fit into the business envelope with room to spare. But it means you don't have to buy expensive envelopes. You don't have to make an envelope. It fits. And it just uses your regular eight and a half by 11 paper. This one is four inches by 11 inches. And it's scored at one and a half, three, eight, and nine and a half. And I'll just show you quickly how it's done. So I pre-stamped this. Um, you're going to want to start and do this when it's flat. So you want to stamp first your blessed Christmas wishes in memento black. And then I took the little um, snowflakes, stamped them in Versamark and embossed in silver. After you've done that, then you are going to um, fold on your score lines and then give it a good sharp crease. And like so, because that's important. A Z fold. Yes, a Z fold. Like so, and like so, okay. There. And I actually used contraband cardstock because I wanted to write on it and I didn't want to waste, and this is the other half. But if you see with contraband, I don't know if Rachel can get this, but you see how it's all jaggedy there? Pee. Stampin' Up cardstock won't do that. It's got a rough edge. Stampin' Up cardstock will not make that rough edge unless you have a, a faulty blade. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take, and this is hard to find, I use the acetate, the window sheets that we have, and you're going to use a little bit of fast fuse. You can't see it at all. Actually, that's not going to work. I'm going to do it on the bottom just on the cardstock. It doesn't work. You've got to advance your fast fuse sometimes. I like that. Oh. It's a fast fuse malfunction day and a check mark. And then on the other side, and the reason I'm putting this on first is you don't want to see this tape afterwards. So it's really important to line up your corners. And then like so. And then we're going to put our silver strips. And the silver strips are one inch. No, I lied. They should have been. I, you know what? I cut the wrong. I was too Dutch. It's supposed to be the full length, so I should have done it one and a half, and I did one and a quarter, so I'm not going to finish this. Um, so one and a quarter, and you're going to put them both on like so. We'll just leave it like that. And I actually got ahead of myself. This piece is going on flat, and you just want to tuck it under so that it's not a you know, you can still see the Christmas wishes. And then this piece, you're going to put a few dimensionals and we have options. We have regular size dimensionals and we have little bitty ones. So the little bitty ones go where there's no room. So here, here, a couple big ones. And then you could put the little ones on the roof. Otherwise you would have to go and cut them in half or quarters and that is just no fun at all. So we have that on, peel them off. That's kind of boring to watch. And I really should tape this other one down. This should have been done before I put the strip on. I messed up. 
uh, guess what? I mess up more often than you think. I just don't usually show you that. So this fits right in here, which is kind of cool. Like so. It's very striking. And then this is going to go just a little bit below. I like it if you can see the steps silhouetted with the black. And it doesn't go all the way to the bottom because this is the road. And then you're just going to put Mary and Joseph on and the shepherd. You can use glue dots or you can use a little bit of fast fuse. Just make sure you only put it on the bottom. And then the silver pieces are going to go on either side. And then you're done. So it's really, really easy. So anyway, have a super day. And don't forget today till midnight is free shipping with Stampin' Up on everything. And I'm also offering a $20 gift certificate with every $100 purchase just so that you can redeem that in January, February, or March. Just an extra thank you. It's Cyber Monday, so that's what other stores are doing, and I think that's pretty cool, so why not join them? Have a super day. Bye.